Hey, fish fans, this is Captain Mark Holly Wood Johnson here in downtown Ala Mirada, trying to catch a bonefish in the crappy weather, and my man Luke just caught a catfish. But more important than watching Luke with his catfish gills is uh, earlier today we had talked about setting up our anchor on the quick release, but one thing I forgot to mention is setting up an anchor with what we call a reef trip. And the advantage of the reef trip is when you're fishing around the bridges or anywhere where there's structure, debris on the bottom, you have the opportunity of getting your anchor hung up and you can't get it out. Same as you do on the reef, the rocks, ledges, whatnot, crab trap lines, there's all kinds of things that can hang your anchor. So here in the Keys, we take our anchor. And again, this works on just about any type of anchor, not just my claw or plow anchor, however you want to call it. Uh-oh, fish on. Quick pause, see what we got. This is pulling pretty good, it's very silver. Hey, come here, Just, yeah, cut that loose and get over here. Don't mind us, this is live action. Where's the turtle man when you need him? This is silver, I see him from here. Anyway, while Luke's trying to figure out what he's got, we'll come back to the reef trip. So we set this up, as you can see, with a shackle on the front side of the anchor, and then down the shank you run your chain, and then here, we tie this off with a few wraps of some 100 pound. Now, you can do it with a zip tie, you can do it with rigging wire, you can do it with whatever you have. The 100 pound seems to work good, and it has enough force to anchor your boat and, and hold it as it's gonna pull from here. Oh, it's a shark. But if you do get this hung up in the bottom and debris your bridge and you tie it off on your cleat and you pull with the boat, it will pop here, which allows you to pull your anchor from the head and pull it out from the snag. And it does come in handy and we do pop it a few times a year and we have yet to lose an anchor with the reef trip. So once again, you wanna make sure you do this with enough horsepower to hold it but it also has to be able to break. So I think here we got one, two, three, four, six wraps, a hundred and a couple knots. Again, you can use zip tie, rigging wire, a shackle on the top. If you get it hung up and you can't get it back, make sure you tie it around your cleat good, bump the boat in gear nice and slow, and you'll feel this pop and pull it out from the top. Okay guys, it's called the Reef Trip. This is how to save your anchor when you're fishing around bridges, debris, rock piles, or whatnot. And it, uh, it's good for the environment. You don't want to leave anchors and ropes and things on the bottom. It's good for you because you get your anchor back, and it just keeps that day of fishing really fun. Once again, this is Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson here with the boys from Salt Strong. If you got any questions on how to set up a reef trip, why you would do it, uh, any questions at all, you can always find us at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do this through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.